How are you doing? My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm doing good. I had my daily meal. I'm glad I had it. I got some Big Macs. I got some fries. I took the fries up to the guy that's still in that car. That poor thing. He's 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 mentally ill or slow. That's something's wrong with that poor gentleman. But he was very happy to get the fries that I gave him. I gave him like two small fries, or whatever, medium fries, or whatever. <sighs> compassion. We have to have compassion, people. Sorry, I'm like speaking up. Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you watching this video? Forgive me. Forgive me. That's the video. Forgive yourself. Forgiveness. What's it about? Why do we need it? Why do we want it? Why do we, you know, I don't know. Makes us feel better. You have to forgive yourself to start with. I forgive you, and I don't even know what you've done. <laughs> half the time, it's half as bad as you think it is. But you, we're the worst, you know, we're always going to beat ourselves up the worst, right? But I want you to forgive yourself. And that's how you heal. That's how you heal the childhood traumas, you know, because you, you know, you're, you're dumped all this shit on you, and then next thing you know, you have to figure stuff out, and you make some bad fucking decisions, and we all make bad decisions. I've made some bad decisions. And I accept those bad decisions. That's part of my dark night. The acceptance of all the fucked up decisions you made when you were in that self-destructive mode. Whew, and we got to do that. We got to forgive ourselves. Because it wasn't like I was intentional. It's weird how you, you once you learn the term self-destruction, oh, that's what I'm doing. Trying to slowly kill myself because I don't love myself enough. That's self-destructive behavior. Put yourself in compromising positions or situations where... You ought not be in then, and you know what I mean? That kind of thing. But I forgive you. Because like I said, I've been there. I ain't gonna lie. I've been down in the gutter. I ain't, I'm, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm the emperor of the universe, true. But so, at the same time, you know, I've mingled with the meek, baby. And there's some beautiful people down there. They're just hollow and been kicked around so long, they don't even feel like they're worthy of being a human being in other people's presence because they smell or whatever they're not clothes aren't clean enough I did have an idea about the homeless doing a registry every town doing a registry so that way a homeless person or a person living in their vehicles like me traveling around if they want to hang out in that town for a while just register with the police department register with the, the town hall Register with the town hall and put like a little sticker on your car at, for a moment. That way cops see the sticker. They know who you are. Like I said, you register. You just give me your ID. You let them know I'm not the bad guy. I'm not a bad person. I'm just living in my vehicle, parked here, you know, whatever. It makes sense. So that way the cops don't have to stress. The town people don't have to stress when people come into their community. Maybe there's people that could could work in that community, you know, because there's always, I see all these help wanted signs and you need you know, people need work, so you gotta work with the people traveling, get them to your towns. You want these people, you want blood. That's one thing is, you would think that towns would be more welcoming of strangers now, because they need that fresh blood to work their factories and their, their counters. And So, you know, things to think about, people. I'm trying to work things out, I'm trying to do what I can. Like seeing this kid, guy up on the hill, just, you know, just laying in the back seat of his car. So just to force, four door, you know, whatever it is, like cutlass or some shit, you know what I mean? It's like, God bless me with some room, baby, and thank you. <laughs> Every day I say thank you. I'm still working on my, my affirmations, but I say thank you and I love you a lot. I'm just like, oh, I'm so thankful. I have a full tank, by the way. Uh, that right there is a blessing. That is a victory. I have a full tank. And if I don't travel too far at the moment, I, I that you know I don't have to worry about that. I can worry about other things at the moment, right? Selling my art and painting new art and getting more paints and things that I need. So <clears throat> focus on me. Focus on keeping my stuff clean. And you know, it's the little things, the little battles that you win that show that you love yourself. And that's how you do it. So forgive yourself because it's important. And here's the thing: if you're if you're 
beating yourself up over somebody that you did wrong and you're actually meant to be with that person, then you're basically not only punishing yourself by not contacting that person or, or letting that person know that you want forgiveness, that you forgive yourself for that situation, and here's the fucked up part, you're still gonna punish them because you know that person, if they're meant to be with you, if that's your soulmate, that you're sitting there going, I feel so bad and I should have, blah, blah, blah. But if they're actually your soulmate, they're still waiting for you. That's how it works, babe. Soulmates, they may look like they're off somewhere doing something, but they're still waiting for you to get your shit together and give them a call and say, uh, can we work this out? Is there, is there a possibility? Even if it's just friendship for, in this life, you know what I mean? So forgive yourself and then forgive me and then forgive the world and forgive everybody else and it gets cheesy from there, right? Anyway, I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. So forgive us and forgive yourself and live in love because we love you.